right, after a very noisy ride back home, we finally got here with our chicks from the post office. This is our first time ordering chicks from a online source. We ordered from this Murray McMurray hatchery. They came very highly recommended on the internet. Uh, I've been following some guys on YouTube and online and everybody that orders from uh, this McMurray hatchery seems to have really good luck with them. So we should have 20 meat birds in here and they were running a special and going to even include one bonus uh, chick that's going to be like a some kind of rare breed or whatever. I, I don't know. We'll see. It should, should be kind of fun. They kind of made it uh, made it interesting by including something like that. So let's get them out, make sure everybody made it, and uh, see how healthy they are. I'm sure you guys are ready to be out of here. They've been on the road now for two days, so I'm sure they're anxious to get out. Oh, everybody's looking good. supposed to dip their beaks into the water whenever you first put them in their brooder and uh, shows them where their drink is I don't know exactly how important that is we've always done it so we're gonna continue doing it and the, these are called uh, jumbo Cornish cross rocks uh, they're supposed to get up to full size within eight weeks which is great. That's a very fast turnaround for a uh, for a broiler chicken. Uh, we did some from Tractor Supply last time, and it took us about 11 weeks to get them up to a decent size. And from what I've been reading, these guys should actually be even larger at eight weeks than my red broilers were from Tractor Supply at uh, at 11. So we'll see how that goes. As they get older, I'll show you guys the chicken tractor and stuff that, that I made to put them in. And um, we'll kind of see how quick they grow. I think I see the oddball. I got one that's a slightly different shade than the rest. We'll get him out last. Him or her, I don't know what sex it is. They say it's going to be an unsexed bird. Hopefully there's some kind of literature letting me know what exactly it is otherwise i guess i'll be comparing pictures oh, easy later on to try to figure it out all right so i've i've totally lost count here let's see one two three four Okay, it looks like exactly 20. No extras. They must have been very confident they were all going to be alive. But they all uh, seem very chipper, so I'm totally happy. And this must be our, our surprise chick. So... All right, so here's just a little better shot of the brooder. Uh, this is just an old um, pen that we made whenever our dog had puppies. And we're not going to do any more puppies, so we have since turned this into a, uh, a chicken brooder. And it seems to work pretty well for that. So that's its, its new purpose. Looks like everybody's eating and drinking, so that's that's good news. Well, I took a second to read the label that came on the inside of the uh, the box there, 
And there's no information on what breed the special chick is, the surprise one. So I guess as it gets older and it's a little more identifiable, I'll have to do some research and kind of compare it to some pictures and, and see what in the world we have. In my luck, it'll probably be some little mouthy thing uh, that will end up being super, super annoying, but we'll, we'll see, it'll, it'll still be fun. So a uh, quick thing with the brooder here. Um, I guess one thing I'm gonna have to watch is the, uh, is the heat lamp. Uh, one of the things you do is to kind of regulate the, the temperature in here. I'll have to watch them here for the, for the next little while and see how they're acting with the, uh, with the lamp. If they all bundle up underneath of it, I'll know I need to lower it to get the temperature up. And if they completely stay away from it, then I'll know that I have it too low and it's, it's too warm in there. So I'll just have to kind of watch them here over the next, uh, next couple hours or so and just see how they, how they react. But, uh, but yeah, so I can't wait till the, the kids get back home here and, um, get a look at them. They'll be super excited. Uh, they always like, like having the, the babies here. So we're going to look out for, look out for them. And I guess, as they get older, I'll shoot some more videos and kind of show them going out into the chicken tractor for you guys and uh, show you that whole process. All right, you just have a good one.